Welcome to a little quick visit of Sci-Fi Doors in Foundry 3D Canvas. Uh, this is a hangar scene for a Star Wars campaign I'm running in 3D Canvas with a um, hut and his Z95 head hunters. And I've got a couple Sci-Fi Doors to show here. Uh, the first major big door here. I have set up with um, matte triggers, which is it's just an animated door, and I'll show you how I did it in a section. And the, tr the triggers are pretty simple, that uh, it's going to play a sound file, and then uh, unpause the animation, wait, and then pause it again, and you'll see how that works here. So it's a really long animation, I wanted that so that way I didn't have to guess on when it would be open and when it would be closed, it just sort of runs and works for me. And then this other option, um, these doors here are actually two tiles together. This is the easier option where um, if I click here, this is that uh, door that goes invisible in 3D canvas, but the frame remains and that's because there are two tiles here. One is the full thing. If I click it again to close the door, you'll see the full frame there. And the other one um, is just the frame without the door. So that way it gives the illusion of a sci-fi door opening. So if we take a look at Blender, um, I've got these doors here. Again, one is just the frame here. If you have a door that you like, you can simply go into edit mode and select the middle, save one of them uh, without the middle, just the frame, and then save one as the total package and you've got your two doors. Um, and then this here, if we look at the animation, I've got, oops, I had moved it for this. So if we play the animation, we see the top doors don't rise above like the bottom ones. And that's because I've got them shrinking in size. I just did a um, size Z and uh, set that animation in place so that way they wouldn't um, go above. And I could have done the same for the bottom two or if they were sideways doors, so you could do that too. So they sort of go into the frame, um, still give a pretty cool look without, uh, without losing too much cool factor. So that is how I did it. And once again, if we check out these doors in my scene, I can double click here and just make them disappear. I've got this just on a pause feature and you see that the doors don't come above, but they are indeed below. Uh, hope that's helpful. Enjoy.